In this video, we are going to walk through how to insert and use smart chips in Google Docs. So first we're going to open up a Google Doc that has some examples already in it of smart chips and building blocks and drop downs. So we're going to click on some of these smart chips. You can see they're interactive. So that's one of the benefits of including smart chips is it makes your document just a little bit more robust and have some interactive options. So you can see the stopwatch is starting and stopping and then resetting when you hover over it and select those options. When you move away from the smart chip, that's one of the time options. It's still is either counting or counting down. Here are examples of different types of voting chips. You can see I can only vote once. Um, that's really a nice feature. You can vote or turn off your vote by clicking on it. There's some building blocks that connect to outside resources like calendar events. They have clickable checkboxes and drop downs in the um, insert menu as well as the shortcut smart chip menu. So to insert a smart chip, you can click on the insert menu at the top and select smart chips. And then it will give you all of the smart chip options that are currently available, including adding in dates and those voting chips. And then there's also placeholder chips. So if you would like to select a date later or insert a file at a future time, you can add in these placeholder chips that will allow you to then click on them and insert that information. The other shortcut option is to type the at symbol and it will bring up your menu for things to insert into the document. So it has all of the smart chip options as well as the drop downs and building blocks included in that shortcut. It will also bring up recently used files and uh, people that you commonly collaborate with. So that at symbol is a great way to quickly insert any of these interactive smart chips where you can insert it from the top um, insert menu. Another way to insert a quick smart chip for a file is if you paste that link tab and then it will insert it as a smart chip. You can also start typing in someone's name and tab and they will be inserted as well. So those are some options for adding and using smart chips in Google Docs.